What's up rovers? Welcome back to my follow-up video on the Weathering Waves FPS Boost Guide. If you haven't watched the first guide video yet, make sure to check it out for the initial instructions. This follow-up won't cover the basics again, so it's important to be up to speed with the first video. In today's video, I'll be showcasing the latest presets that I've tested. You can find links to both Preset Slow and Potato in the description. First I'll explain the differences between the Low and Potato presets. First, the Low preset includes Foliage density scale is set to 0.2, reducing grass density to increase FPS while maintaining good visual quality in the game. Remove fog and shadows except for the player's shadow. And lastly, maintains the game's original textures. On the other hand, the potato preset includes every shadow removed, lower quality textures, remove grass and fog, and lastly, lower resolution for improved performance. Consider using the potato preset if you prioritize smooth gameplay over graphical fidelity. Here's a more comprehensive side-by-side -side comparison between the low and potato presets, and also they are all set to low standard graphics. There you have it rovers, if you noticed a slight drop of frame rate during the gameplay, it's because I was recording, which can make the frame rate unstable. Since we're at the end of the video, if you find my content interesting, consider subscribing. I'll be checking the comments if you have any questions or if you notice any changes yourself. I will also be continuing to make Weathering Waves content since it's fun doing this kind of stuff. Anyways, that's it for now, thank you for watching, and stay hydrated. Thank <laughs> you.